What's going on YouTube? Coach Carr here bringing you another video. Now this one is on page 9 of your notes and I'm going to go over two different ways to find the area of different uh, polygons. So one is going to use the formula you have on page 1 of your notes, the apothem uh, times the perimeter divided by 2. The other way is where you find the area of one triangle and multiply it by how many triangles there are. So I hope you enjoy. So the success criteria is I'll be successful when I can find the apothem slash height of a regular polygon. And this will help you find the area. Okay, so we are on page 9. Number two, it says consider the following polygons with side lengths of five. Prove the hexagon has the greatest area. So we are going to find the area of each of these. So first off, the first shape, they're telling me all the side lengths are five. So if we have four sides, all sides are equal, we're having a square. So to find the area of a square, you do base times height. So on this one, I can do 5 times 5, which gets me 25 units squared. So for this one, I didn't have to do uh, too much work. I got to just use the fact that I know the formula for area of a square. So that one was 25 units squared. Okay, so now the next problem here, this one does not have the four sides. It has five sides. So what we want to do is look at our pentagon, and I'm going to first label the sides. So this side is five, and all the sides are five. Now, to find the area of some kind of gon, in this case a pentagon, there are a couple ways you can go about it. One way is to find the, uh, break them up into triangles, find the area of the triangles, and multiply it by the amount of triangles, or use the equation of the apothem uh, times the perimeter over 2. So I'm going to end up doing both between the two. For the pentagon, what I'm going to do is take the amount of triangles and find the area of one triangle and multiply it by the amount of triangles. Because remember, with these regular gons, uh, polygons, they're all supposed to have the same size triangles in each. So what I'm going to do is I know each side is 5. So if I want to make the height or an apothem, you can say it either way, I know that each portion will be 2.5. So this will end up being important to me in just a second. So first thing I'm going to try to find is the interior angle. Or the, I should actually say, a central angle. So when I find the central angle, I'm going to do 360 divided by N. Now N is the amount of sides. So I'm going to do 360 divided by 5 which equals 72 degrees. So the full angle inside here is 72 degrees. Now I created a height or an apothem. So that means each portion got broken half. So it would be now uh, 30, what is it, uh, 36 degrees. So that angle inside there 
would be 36 degrees. So what I'm going to want to do is break it up. So what I'm going to do to just make it a little bit easier to see is redraw the part of the triangle. So what we did when I broke it up, I had this portion be 2.5, the height, which is what I'm trying to find, the apothem. I don't know what the length is there yet, but I do know that this angle here is equal to 36 degrees. So that's the angle that I have. So in order to find this value, I'm actually going to have to use my trig. So when we use trig, what we want to do is label each side. So this would be my hypotenuse. A cross would be my opposite. And what I'm looking for is my adjacent. So what we want, I am trying to look for the adjacent. I have a value for my opposite. The one that uses opposite and adjacent is tangent. So I would have tangent of 36, because that's the degree, equals, now it's opposite over adjacent, so 2.5 over the adjacent, which I don't know yet. That's why I put it as x. I'm trying to get x by itself, so I multiply each side by x. That's so it cancels out there. So I have x tangent of 36 equals 2.5. Now again, I'm trying to get it by uh, x by itself, so now I'm going to divide each side by the tangent of 36. So x equals 2.5 over tangent of 36. If I do that, what I end up getting is that x equals 3.44. So the apothem or the height is equal to 3.44. So depending on which formula you use, you're either going to call it an apothem or a height. Now, I said in this one, I'm going to break it up into the triangles and multiply it by the amount of triangles. So what I'm going to do is base times height over 2 times the amount of triangles, which is 5. So if I do this, what I get is the base is 5 because that's the full length of the triangle, it's base, times 3.44, which is the height. And there are five total triangles all over 2. If I multiply the top, I get 86 divided by 2, which equals 43 units squared. So for this one, the area of the pentagon is 43 units squared. Okay, so continuing on to the hexagon. Now, this one, uh, again, I'm going to have to break it up into my triangles. So I'm just going to draw those real quick. Now, each of the triangles, again, are supposed to be congruent. So if 
and all sides, I was told, are equal to 5. So if I break it up again, then I would have 2.5 here and 2.5 here. So what I'm going to want to do uh, now that I have shown this is find my central angle. Now my central angle again is 360 over N. So again, N is the amount of sides. So what I do is 360 divided by 6, which is equal to 60 degrees. So each angle inside here is equal to 60 degrees. So by creating this apothem or height, however you want to call it, it breaks it in half which means that the ang the degree inside here is 30 degrees. So to make it easier to see, just like I did over here, I'm going to redraw it. So I am being told when I did this that the bottom is 2.5. I'm trying to find this side over here. So this is the side I am trying to find. It's a bad looking question mark, but it's a question mark. And I'm told that the angle in here is 30 degrees. So if that angle is 30, this angle is 90, that would make us have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So because we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, that's a special triangle. Now, the sides would be labeled as such. The short side is X. The long leg is X square root 3. And the hypotenuse is 2x. So in this one, I'm trying to find this height here. So my height would be the 2.5 times square root 3. Because this side is x times the square root 3, and what would represent x is the short leg. So if I multiply these together, I get 4.33. So my apothem, or height, depending on what you call it, depending on which formula you're using, is equal to 4.33. So this time, I'm going to use the equation of A equals apothem times perimeter over 2. Now, the apothem we said is uh, 4.33. Perimeter is when you add up all the sides. So if I added up all the sides, 5 times 6 is 30. All over 2. So what we have is 129.9 over 2, which equals 64.95 units squared. So the area of the hexagon would be 64.95 units squared. Thank you once again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and are getting the exit slips done.